Hello and welcome to those of you who have uh, signed in so far. I'm going to start sharing my screen so you know what we're up to today. So welcome everyone uh, to today's webinar. We're going to um, talk about how to turn your smartphone clips into compelling employer branding videos, how easy it is um, for you um, and for me. <laughs> okay. Uh, first up, I just want to let you know who's talking to the screen. Uh, it's me. My name is Heidi Bodal. I work at StoryKit as a community manager, meaning I handle the organic publishing in our social channels. Um, I handle our owned channels, as it's called. Um, yeah, social channels, webinars, some emails digital activities, um, just trying to get people to know us and uh, hopefully share valuable content across the internet. Um, so that's me. I've been at StoryKit for two years. Um, and I guess that's about what you need to know. Before we get started, what I think is a very important note is that you're very welcome to join if you haven't yet our Facebook community. Uh, it's called Video for Social Media. It's um, a group with 3,500 uh, people, members um, today. Um, I try to post at least weekly, a couple of times every week. I share the content that I publish and how you can make it yourself. I share some storyboard ideas with you so you can just grab a video that you like, post it in your own. Um, client and do the same. I share some struggles and some challenges just to um, let people know that marketers and social media managers, we're all in the same boat, we're trying our best um, and no one's alone out there. So this is today's agenda. Um, I'll dive in a little bit on how we approach employer branding content to start seeing some actual results, um, how you can make the most out of the footage and the clips that you're probably sitting on. Um, and I'll show you three video ideas that you can make today using StoryKit. And I will be creating um, these videos uh, live here with you. Uh, so you can hopefully see how easy they're made. And of course, we'll try to have uh, the time needed for a Q&A. You're very welcome to um, ask your questions uh, regarding the tool, employer branding, social media content, whatever's on your mind. Um, so hopefully we'll have time for all this. So let's get started. What is actually employer branding? Um, cause if you're anything like me, I was about to say, uh, marketers and, uh, uh, social media people, um, are often asked to post, um, post this new job ad or post something about something exciting about the new role or tell our employee brand story on social. So uh, employee branding is a marketing job in itself. We're trying to reach the right applicants. We're trying to tell the right brand stories, the company stories, uh, trying to find and discover the candidates in the right places. Where, where are they? Um, and of course, we want to showcase our compelling offer. What sets us aside from the competitors? Why should someone come work for your company? And why is it so much better than another one? So employee branding really is what springs to mind when potential employees look at your company as a place to work. And um, it's all of the insights that you can give to your workplace, how your teams are uh, built up, the specific roles that you have. And of course, the culture and values. And I mean, talking about what a company culture is, it's like a webinar in itself, I guess. But what makes you you? Um, what sets you apart? Um, why, yeah, why are you better <laughs> than anyone else? So it's a lot. And why? 
would anyone um, try to build their employer brand? Well, it's an essential component of your recruitment marketing and your marketing overall. Um, and I think that I try to like express this in the best way possible, but a company that people want to work for and that they enjoy working for is more likely to be viewed as a, an attractive company that you want to buy something for or that you want to um, get in touch with. And employer branding is super important when it comes to the authenticity because um, it shows that you care about your employees and that you know that what makes a company a company is the people that it's filled with. And people love to get behind the scenes. People love people. And it's just a nice way to create trust and build trust with your audience. And of course, in today's like all of the information that we get, all of the content that's out there, the messages that we receive every day, all of with, uh, about the AI, um, I think people more than ever crave like the humans behind the brand. They want to know who's actually behind that screen that you're, um, when you're like evaluating whether or not you should uh, buy a tool or um, sign a contract with anyone. And this is, isn't in the slide deck, but um, for us um, at StoryKit and for me personally, uh, employer branding is really what like, took our, that increased our following and increased our reach, especially on LinkedIn. Um, the new hires videos that we make and the employee spotlights that I'll show you how to make in a minute um, are definitely like our top performing ones when it comes to video views and how many people we reach. Um, and I think that goes a lot with um, tagging the people, of course. You reach out to multiple people's networks and um, perhaps even if you tag the companies that the people have been in uh, with before, that also does a, a sparks your reach. So as I stated in the agenda, um, I'm gonna um, share a little bit about our approach to employer branding. What made us um, actually try to um, position ourselves as an attractive uh, employee. Um, and if you want to do the same, I think it's important that you or we um, reflect on the objectives, why we're doing this. Are you aiming uh, to attract the right talent and support your hiring goals? Is it something for um, do you want to support your um, recruitment team, your T talent acquisition team, your HR perhaps? Or do you want to stand out from your competitors by showcasing what makes your company really special, like its values and perks? If someone's dividing, should I go for StoryKit or another video making platform, why should they go for us? Or are there important cultural, cultural elements? that you want to highlight. And I think this last one, um, the culture elements um, at StoryKit are really what we discovered um, is something that we wanted to do. Um, so when we started showcasing and highlighting our employees on social, especially on LinkedIn, um, it was me and my dear colleague, Emma Yalmashon, who just realized that this is one of the easiest piece of content that we can make. Um, in just like 15 minutes, we can gather some sayings and film some clips of our colleagues and just paste it into um, a template. So in 15 minutes, we have made um, the best performing post of the week or even the month. And as I said before, employee branding is a marketing job. Uh, you want to reach the potential applicants. That's like lead generation. You want to get as many signups as possible. You want to um, make sure that the application form is um, 
going through the roof. It's also about uh, telling the right stories in social media, trying to visualize your culture um, isn't like the easiest job if you don't have the right tools. Uh, and you need to find the candidates in the right places. Are they at uh, TikTok? Um, are they at LinkedIn? Where do they go? And of course you want to showcase your compelling offer. So your recruiter is a marketer, your HR team are uh, marketers, your TA is a marketer. So it's a full-time job. Um, and also, I guess the hard truth these days are that a uh, few to none of uh, people will actually go to one website in particular to browse for job applications. Um, and people, because they want to get to know the company before they're actually applying. Uh, and I found uh, the company Glassdoor um, that I think um, was super popular at least a couple of years ago where um, employees can go and rate their companies anonymously. Uh, they've stated that as many as 79% of job applicants use social media in their job search. So social media is the place to be, even for recruiting an employer brand. But how can we make all this possible? How's it actually done? Well, believe it or not, the answer is video. Of course, because video is the ultimate format to tell your stories and create an emotional connection to your audience. I'm sure you're all aware of this um, before, but why not um, hammer the <laughs> message? Um, and I think it has a lot to do because video testimonials, testimonials are so much more authentic than written ones, uh, because as I'm going on social media, I can actually um, see the person who's telling me that StoryKit is an awesome place to work. It makes so much more than just reading it. Um, it gives uh, an authenticity and um, it definitely builds trust. Um, and as uh, I said, I mean, this year, for the past five years, I guess, 10, um, social media is the place where you actually will find your candidates. And it's the most effective format for standing out on social. Just to really make a point out of this, um, a tweet that we saw from Elon Musk, the no longer maybe the CEO of Twitter, but definitely the yeah the owner and the uh, what is it called antagonist protagonist of uh, Twitter right now. Uh, his uh, he tweeted that the more screen time users spend looking at a post, whether it's text, pic, or video, the more it's boosted. So if someone scrolls and they stop at one tweet for five minutes rather than one, that post will definitely be boosted. And looking at a video uh, takes more time than clicking on a link. So that's really all we need to know. <laughs> and this goes for all platforms, of course, because they want their viewers and their audience to stay there as long as possible. I think it's also worth mentioning that video is, I guess, in any situation, the next best thing to being somewhere in person. It's the closest you can get to the people, uh, the company, the, the brand, whatsoever. Um, and people will, um, it's like, uh, actually visiting a company before you apply. And I think that's what a lot of um, applicants want these days. Um, and of course, for like the employees themselves, um, oops, sorry, playing. Um, if uh, employees feel appreciated and seen somewhere, uh, they're more likely to stay. This was very loud for me. Okay, so, um, why should you be creating your own employee brand and not always rely on the agencies? As always, um, we're not saying that you, you shouldn't use an agency um, 
at all. There are many like situations and circumstances and kind of uh, marketing jobs that are better um, um, done by an agency. Um, but I'm sure that um, creating uh, content in-house saves you both time and money, especially when it comes to videos like this. Because as we know, it's not really enough to just post a job ad once and expect every possible candidate to find it. Um, and things are always changing. If you're a fast growing company like ours, or if you're looking for a very specific kind of person for a role, um, by the time you actually receive the content produced by a, an agency, it's very much likely that it's become outdated or that it will within a couple of weeks or so. And that's gonna cost you a lot. And the most importantly, no one knows your company as well as you do. Uh, if you're in control of your messaging and your brand, um, you're going to be able to create a lot more videos than just one. And of course, you probably already have a lot of the content that you need for this. You've probably um, been to an event. Um, you've had your CEO on stage at a big conference. Uh, you took some photos from your last. Uh, mingle and you've been shooting some clips and taking some photos around the office uh, just because it's nice to have and that's the content that we're going to use today um, so I'm gonna head straight into the tool now and we'll see how this is done because I'm gonna show you three videos that are perfect for employer branding that we use the most and I'm gonna show you how to efficiently and um, very fast create a highlight, uh, an employee kind of video, uh, how you can announce new hires uh, in just minutes. And if there's an internal accomplishment, um, you're gonna see how you can make a video out of that as well. So let's dig into it. I hope that you're still seeing my screen not let me know. So here we are. I'm in my client. Um, I'm in my uh, project folder named Haiti. And we're going to start with the first one. And since it's a television, no, but since it's uh, live, I have made some preparations, uh, but I'm going to um, uh, try to show you as thoroughly as possible how I make one. So we're going to start off with the highlight an employee. And as I, say, as I said, <laughs> uh, it's definitely the top performing one for us. So I hope that you can do the same. Um, let's start. Highlight an employee. I'm going to make it um, in a square format because this is going to go out on LinkedIn. And if you're trying to um, decide on whether you should do it in a landscape or a portrait format. Um, I think one-to-one -one is the most, that always works, regardless if people are on their desktop or on their mobile phone. Because I checked our uh, statistic recently about if our viewers or audience uses desktop uh, or mobile, and it's almost 50-50. But if you see on your account that people are using um, mostly their mobile, go for it. Um, I hope you've all uh, had the chance to explore our new UI. It looks amazing, I think. Um, so it has, um, as a default, because uh, I said it as an agency default, uh, it has the theme number two. And I think I'm going to go for no filter because since this is our own clips that we'll be using, I think it makes much um, the most sense. So I'm um, gonna do this from a blank storyboard because I'm gonna use a template. And of course, afterwards, uh, this template will be uh, sent out to you so you can use it as much as, much as you want. So I'm gonna go for a template and I'm gonna choose highlight an employee. Great. I'm gonna head over to the storyboard. 
I'm gonna have a quick water break. So this is what I've prepared uh, from before, uh, but creating this template took me maybe 10 minutes back in the days. So um, first things first, step number one is that I, or uh, nowadays uh, my uh, colleague Lisa, who's our talent acquisition partner, she sends out on Slack or Teams or email, uh, whatever you use, uh, three questions to a new hire or to an employee that's been with us for a while. Um, and she asks, why do you like working here? Uh, hopefully they do. Uh, if not, we can change the question. Um, we want to get to know them a little bit. So we ask what they do outside of work and if they have a best, the best story tip moment. And when they reply uh, on Slack, for instance, um, then we already have the story, the text that we can just paste in. But I'm going to start. So once a week, I schedule um, a colleague for about 5, 10, 15 minutes to just um, film them a little bit and in, in their own environment. Uh, when they're working, uh, I do some close-ups that I think is great for the intro slides, uh, perhaps uh, filming them walking in a corridor just to make a cool like exit or uh, something, them having a, a cup of coffee with another colleague. Um, and then I have like the, the assets that I'm gonna use. And when we contact a colleague or when I walk up to someone and say, hey, welcome to Story Kit. Um, I would love to make a video of you um, where you just answer some questions about your work. People uh, tend to say, oh, no, 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 no. I'm not comfortable in front of the camera. I can't do that. Well, uh, they don't have to because since, you know, 90, 80% of uh, videos on especially LinkedIn are viewed without sound, we're going for text uh, based video. So I only need their quotes. And I've already been talking for uh, quite a while. So I hope uh, you stay with me. <laughs> so I'm going to make a video out of um, uh, Christina. She's our S uh, sales development representative manager, SDR manager. Um, she's been with us for a while. Um, I tried to prepare it as much as I could. Um, had to dig deep into my um, laptop um, storage. Um, couldn't find exactly the clip, so maybe I'll just um, make use some other as well, just so you can see the get the idea. So I'm gonna choose a close up for the say hello to Christina Gon Sa Let's. And if you're watching this, Christina, I'm sorry if I'm spelling your name wrong. I just want to get this done. Uh, she's our SDR. So I just asked her to um, stand in front of a wall. And I said, smile as much as you can. And we have the first clip done. So then I've asked her, why do you like working at StoryKit? I'm gonna go for her interacting with a colleague because I'm guessing that's what she likes the most. Now she's not uh, visible here, so I'm gonna go to main asset behavior. It's centered on the X uh, position, so I'm gonna turn left. So she becomes, there she is. She's having a lot of fun with our colleague Michaela, which looks great. All right, Christina. And uh, I'm not gonna go into Slack now to grab her answer, but um, best part of working in Story Kit is working with my colleagues. Because I know I enjoy working with her. Next question is, why, what do you do outside of work? I'm going to do uh, in, um, like in sh showing her off in like the environment. I just asked her to pretend to read a book. 
She's a little to the left there as well. So I'm gonna try to center her much better. She's reading our book. I love reading. And what is your best story kit moment? I think I'm gonna go for maybe this one because this is when we all had a kickoff in North Shopping in Sweden. So I've chosen testimonial slide here, as you can see, I uh, enabled, disabled the avatar, which is great if you're doing like a customer case. When, wait, when we went to North Shopping and there's room for a lot more here. Um, so you can make the quotes a little longer. I saw that I forgot to change that here. Talking, writing, and trying to be uh, efficient and uh, nice at the same time is not the easiest. Okay, and it's time for the outro. I will choose this one with her standing on the balcony and then turning around, looking at me. We're so lucky to have you, Christina. And um, I'm also gonna make sure that I uh, promote something, uh, which is that people can see all of the open positions at storykit.io. So I made an employee branding video, um, highlighting um, a colleague. Um, I'm gonna tag her in the post. And I've also um, made like a recruitment video. So it was a win-win, I think. I'm gonna render, create this one, and we're gonna move on to the next video. I don't wanna leave that right now. So I'll go in here. Here we go, new hires. And this is a, a, the a one that I'm gonna make from a blank storyboard. So for the sake of it, let's pretend that we uh, last um, year or month hired two new colleagues. So I'm gonna go for an intro, just so people will know what it's about. I'm gonna choose the icon. The icon is by default an arrow, but I think I'm gonna replace that one with something a little more fun. Let's do, I think we have some fun stuff in here. I created a, I haven't. I'm going to go to my other projects because I know I've used this before. Um, stay with me, friends, even though I can't look what I'm finding. I can't find what I'm looking for right now. Where am I? Monthly. No. Stork New Stars. And here you see there's a lot of photos because if there's uh, if you don't if you feel like there's no time to um, film your colleagues, I sometimes just grab their LinkedIn profile pictures. I'm gonna go for the heart as the icon. So, uh, what what is uh, what are we gonna name this? Meet the newest. Story kit stars. And I think I'm gonna use the one from the kickoff that we had. That looks a bit small. I'm gonna go for huge. Nice. So my first new hire is Voloja. He looks right here and 
um, since um, I know beforehand that the um, slides I'm gonna choose, um, the text is gonna be centered, it's gonna show up in the, like, the middle of his face. So I'm gonna let people actually have a good look at his face before the text comes in. So I'm gonna do a player slide of one second. So they actually get a glimpse of how he looks. And then I'm gonna present his name. I think I'm gonna go with the, I like the center flip. I'm gonna type in his name on the top line. And then um, he is an SDR. And then I put that clip over two slides. I think three seconds will be enough. I will do the same with the other higher. Set that to one second. I'll do the center flip again. I could, of course, just duplicate the slides that I have, but I'm not that smart. Let's pretend Christina started as well as our SDR manager. Now I can reuse the uh, footage and the clip that I had before. And then I'm gonna just insert our outro so people know where this is coming from. And there we go, we have a new higher video. Um, and uh, also I can um, tag these people as well uh, in a post. Uh, I can tag the company that they uh, previously worked at. Uh, I can write something, um, a fun fact about them, which will be great for um, reach as well. And the third video that I'm gonna make is a very uh, nice one. It's gonna go so fast. I'm gonna choose my folder that's Aaron because I will be using the um, our story kit AI that we released a couple of weeks ago. I hope you had the chance to check it out. It's in my opinion, um, revolutionary. Uh, it's a groundbreaking because it means that we can create videos in minutes out of the content that we really already have. Because what takes time um, is actually writing a long piece of content, but then you have to um, make people find it and put it out there. And that's where the AI comes in. I don't think I need to new, do a new uh, project we can go in here, doesn't matter. Um, and now we're gonna create an achievement, achieve, achievement, okay. And I'm gonna uh, click on write script instead. Now I'm gonna choose the blank AI powered script. This is where the magic happens, let me tell you. I'm gonna click on this little arrow and once upon a time, almost one year ago today, I had a talk with our uh, colleague, Matthias, who's a client manager here. And he decided that he wanted to uh, prove, uh, show people that it's possible to make and post, create and publish two, po two videos every day. Um, he used the same video, but he translated it to uh, Spanish as well because um, Matias is from Uruguay, so he has a lot of connections from there. So I'm gonna grab all of this text that we already have. So the video is not about replacing anything, it's about pushing for something that you've already poured your heart and soul and time into. So I'm copy pasting this and I'm gonna paste it all in here. And then we have the creators. I talked uh, uh, some about this uh, in the product uh, update webinar that I had a couple of weeks ago. Uh, you're um, welcome to check that out, it's on YouTube. Um, but so um, based on the 
piece of content that you already have, you can choose different creators to create the perfect video. So since this is a um, more or less a case study about Matthias, I could go for a case story with quotes, uh, uh, general case story. Uh, since it's uh, also a piece of uh, it's a blog post, I could go for the three takeaways, a summary, uh, asking a question or how to. I could make a teaser, um, like the, the shorter format that you use just as an eye catcher to actually make people go and read an article. Uh, there are a bunch of those, quote, kick. And there's the loose ideas and, and the sharp angle if you want to feel experimental. And for your um, uh, e-commerce, your product page, there are loads of creators for that as well and the newsletter ones. But I think we're going to go for the case story. And we'll see what happens. Uh, and I'm going to go for create scripts. And we'll see. And by now, the highlights an employee about Christina is made. And I have a new hires video. So I've been doing this for, what is it, 13 minutes. And I'm soon, uh, I'm soon to have three videos which I'm very lucky for because, you know, on social media, you have to post frequently and a lot to grow because no brand has ever grown on social media by posting every once in a while. The platforms are more likely to boost your post if they know that you're um, using the platforms a lot. So go ahead and publish as much as you want. Let's check it out. Okay. So based on this article about Matthias, I have a script that I'm ready to use. So the headline increased reach uh, with, uh, of 457% with video. This is Matthias Picun's story. Are you struggling to create content that resonates with your audience? Matthias Picun, client manager, was looking for a way to increase his reach. He decided to take on a challenge. And what's what really like sets the StoreKit AI apart from a lot of other AI um, programs, is that a right word? Uh, from a lot of other AIs is that it's only gonna use your own text. So you're in control of the messaging. And of course, since it's made in your own theme, you're also in control of the, um, your brand. Uh, and this enables you to create your company videos um, and your uh, only using the text that you already have. So it's never going to try to make up any quotes or try to browse the internet for other sayings about increasing reach. It's only using your text. You're in control. And my AI is connected to my um, story, uh, to one of my asset libraries. But since this is about Matthias, I have... Uh, I asked him for a couple of pictures of him because he's on parental leave, uh, but he was kind enough to send me some. And I also have his LinkedIn picture that I can use and the picture from the article, of course. Um, so we'll see what we have here. Here he is. I'm going to import that one. I got another one as well, so I'm going to use that. But uh, maybe one or two pictures isn't really enough to um, fill out the whole video. So I will choose some cool footage, a stock video that I found to really like enhance the message that I have. So I'm going to take the skyline video as well, um, just to fill it out. I'm going to go for him and I'm going to choose the branding um, since it's like there's a, some text here I'm going to choose the other picture just so people really can get to know him and I'm going to use that all the way uh, and then also giving me a call to action uh, read more so I'm going to link to this article um, and then I'm just going to do my um, own uh, personal uh, favorite styling so I'm gonna choose, I like this one, focus pull is one of my favorites. 
And this paragraph, I think I want, I love the block text medium is one of the, the slides that I use the most. And lucky uh, for me, it's gonna uh, go for block text on the other uh, sentences here as well. And you can see that um, uh, this is like a sub headline um, that I really like. So, and uh, the AI knows that, which is perfect. I like the flip text. I'm gonna go for that. And then for the bread text, is that an English word? I'm about to find out. Yeah, let's go for the spin text. I like that one. And since I changed this to flip text, it's gonna make a uh, flip text on the other subheadline as well. Let's do the cover swipe, why not? Um, so I've done my styling. I'm gonna check out my storyboard. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, for giving me this video story kit. I'm gonna create a video out of this. Let's do it. Um, here's a thing that I need to point out. It's because I grabbed this photo from the article because uh, I couldn't find the original one. So um, this like already has the logo behind it. So I'm gonna... remove the logo from the slide since it already has one in the picture. Okay, and the picture is moving a bit, so I'm just gonna choose no animation. There we go. Okay, I think it all looks pretty good. I think it's time to just head over to the premium music library. I have 27,000 songs to choose from. So I'm just gonna try to find one. I usually always go for it's easy to love you because it's easy to love all of you guys. And script is done, styling is done. I have an internal achievement that I want to highlight because we, of course, I think it's a great message that he was able to produce 60 videos in one month and he increased his reach with 457%. I want to do the same. So I'm going to create a video now. Uh, if do you want to have a look at my highlights and employee while that is happening, we can just check it out. I hope this is visible. So now I have a, a employee highlight uh, with Christina. I have only asked her three questions and I filmed her a little bit around the office. And there we have it. Christina title. And the new hires video. Meet the new, new historic stars. And as you can see here, Volodya is very visible um, before the text shows up, same with Christina. And you can uh, make this a template and just fill up as many new employees that you have. Let's see how this one's going. Creating video. It's always a bit slower when you screen share, of course, uh, but that's what happens. But now guys, we've um, made three videos in one sitting. I have content now for a whole week or at least the following three days. Um, just like that. Let's check it out. Are you struggling to create content that resonates with your audience? Sometimes, yes. So I hope you agree with me that this is uh, a game changer when it comes to content creation. Because I know I think it is. Um, so we made the three videos. Uh, only using, um, well, one stock video, but only using the things that I've been uh, filming with my own smartphone. I'm guessing most of you have one. Um, and as I said, and I cannot stress enough that these are really the videos that has been performing the best for me. I'm gonna stop sharing my screen and get back to you and see if there's any question there are. Uh, Frank asks, 
what is the best video format for LinkedIn considering the algorithm and mobile versus desktop users? Yeah, so as I mentioned uh, briefly when I started making the first video is that um, since I can see in our numbers that our viewers or our um, yeah followers, uh, they come they come from desktop um, and mobile. It's like a 50 50 percent. Uh, between the two. Uh, so I go for the square format because I know that works well on all devices. And, but I think as when it comes to the algorithm, you know, it, it's kind of hard to, to say, uh, to give like an, an absolute answer. If I had the answer to how um, I would work best with the algorithm, I would be um, a rich woman. No, I wouldn't, but I would, um, um, quit my job and just um, live on that. But um, sorry, um, the algorithm is going to push and promote and boost your content if it sees that its viewers find it valuable enough to look at the whole thing, that they interact with it, that you get a lot of video views, that people are engaging with it. So, um, and the only way to know what works is to publish a lot. Um, cause as I say in every webinar, because I think it's such a great, um, saying is that, uh, as our CEO one, once mentioned in our podcast is that distribution, good distribution, um, and quality are linked because if you publish something that's good, the algorithm, the platform is going to send it out to a lot of more people because it sees that, okay, people like this one, I'm gonna keep um, um, sending it out to more people. And if you publish something that's bad, no one's gonna see it because you're not gonna get any distribution. So the only way to find out is really just to keep trying, keep publishing, and eventually you will get the, some of the insights that you need to, um, to know. Um, so I hope, Frank, that that's more or less of an answer for you. Um, I'll be here uh, for another minute or two to answer uh, your questions if you come up with any. Mm. Maybe have some water. Oh, mm. what I can do for those of you who are still with me. Um, Thank you. Yeah, there's a bunch of you. Uh, the next webinar uh, that we're doing is on Thursday, June 29th. Uh, it's in two weeks. And we're going to talk about newsletter subscriptions and opens. I'm going to show you how to create at least three or four videos uh, that will definitely get you more subscribers and more opens. And we will be using the AI. And it's super cool um you can do it in just minutes so please join in two weeks i'll be here again you'll have to listen to this voice but i really want to say thank you for joining me uh thank you for reacting um i can see your hearts and your hands and i'm uh, super excited to be doing this with you. Of course, um, this is being recorded, so we'll send out um, the recording and the slide deck to uh, everyone that registered, so you can watch it as many times as you want, um, or listen to it as a podcast before you fall asleep. Um, and you can have a look, and you will get you the templates and the storyboard IDs for the videos that I made. And you can just... Um, do some filming of your own, put it in the tool, and you have three videos for your employee branding. Uh, so thank you guys so much. Uh, see you in a couple of weeks. And don't uh, forget to join the Facebook group. And uh, please um, connect with me on LinkedIn, uh, Heidi Valentine Buda. Um, it's going to be fun. I hope you learn something new. Okay. Have a great day, drink water, and um, enjoy your Thursday. Okay, bye.